Maidana. And let's look at the tail of the tape now for James Kirkland against Nobuhiro Ishida. Kirkland, 27 years old, coming back. This will be his third fight back after 18 months in prison on a gun wrap. Nishida is a Japanese veteran, age 35. You see the five inch height advantage for the Japanese fighter. And yet Kirkland has a half inch arm length advantage when measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They're fighting in the middleweight division. Both weighed in two pounds under the middleweight limit. And tonight Kirkland's gone all the way up to 173 as opposed to 169 unofficially for Nishida. And now let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand, the action continues courtesy of Golden Boy Promotions. This contest presented in association with Canelo Promotions. And once again, sponsored by Tecate Cerveza Con Caracter. AT&T, Rethink Possible. DeWalt Power Tools, Guarantee Tough. And Tres Generaciones, Triple Distilled Tequila. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the three judges at ringside. Scoring will be Eric Cheek, Tim Cheatham, and Glenn Trowbridge. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee newly inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, Joe Cortez. And now eight rounds of boxing. This is in the middleweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing sky blue, officially weighing 158 pounds. His professional record, 22 victories, including seven knockouts, six defeats, two draws. He's from Osaka, Japan. The former WBA super welterweight world champion, Nobuhiro Ishida. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and official weight, 158 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 27 fights, 27 victories, including 24 knockouts. From Austin, Texas, USA, undefeated middleweight contender, James Mandingo Warrior Kirkland. All right, gentlemen, we won all the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. The trunks here are a little high. Yours are OK. Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. This is a stay busy fight for Kirkland. It's his third fight of the last three, uh, five weeks, so really a stay very busy fight. It's a build Kirkland back up to the top during his comeback kind of fight. Ashida represents the best opponent of his comeback so far, and it's a showcase fight. Kirkland's supposed to beat the hell out of him. Ishida is from Osaka. He says that the earthquake, the tsunami, the attendant nuclear accident, none of them really dramatically or negatively affected his training and preparation for the fight. Now let's see if he can handle Kirkland. Kirkland has taken three rounds to deal with two opponents, and now he gets caught on a quick counter right inside and goes down. Five, no one expected that. Six, Shit, he is hurt. Seven. Eight. That's you not okay? a slip. That he. That's a. No, he got that's a Kirkland's in trouble knockdown from a guy who can't punch. That's exactly right. A guy with only six knockouts in 28 previous fights, 30 previous fights. Kirkland so. was wobbled Three. against bring an up, unknown up, Colombian up, fighter up. in his last fight, but he came back to knock the guy out in the second round. Well, it's fascinating that Kirkland's already been down because. You heard the enthusiasm of the crowd as he was introduced. Kirkland yes. arouses a lot of enthusiasm as a monster. He's getting badly out technique right now by Nobuhiro Ishida, who looks utterly fearless, and that isn't the profile that most Kirkland opponents portray. Down goes Kirkland a second time. Four, five, David Lemieux six, was the middleweight seven, puncher from Canada, was eight. upset okay? Okay. Well, last night by knockout against Rubio. There's no three knockdown rule in effect. So a third knockdown here for Nikita will not necessarily mean the end of the fight. Kirkland obviously isn't covering or holding up. He wants to fight back, and he's getting countered at every turn by Nikita, who's been brilliant so far. Kirkland is a sitting duck for Nikita's right hand. 
There it is again. Third knockdown now, and Joe Cortez right is stopping the fight. That's it. That's James it. Kirkland That's was it. fighting Cortez That's to try to get up, and Cortez pushed him down. He stopped the fight. James no, Kirkland that's it, that's it. has been knocked out. Shocking. We saw James Kirkland walk through seven, eight rounds of brutal punches from Joel Julio. Excuse me, six rounds of those punches. And Joel Julio's a real puncher without wobbling to knock out Joel Julio. And here, a light punching middleweight knocks him out in one round. Were it not for the raw craft of Kirkland, the obvious absence of technical skill, particularly defensively, I would be saying that this is the most shocking scene, thing I've seen in 25 years of calling fights, because I frankly did not believe the Japanese fighter had a chance. Well, he's, he's here because he can't punch. The Jap Ishida, the Japanese fighter, is here to be cannon fodder for Kirkland. Again, this is supposed this was supposed to be a showcase for Kirkland. He was supposed to beat the hell out of Ishida. In fact, no one was going to be surprised by a first-round knockout. It's just that it was supposed to be the other direction. Let's take a look at each of the three knockdowns, Max. And Nishida's trainer told us last night, we want Kirkland to get in close where we can hit him with something short. The first knockdown was a result of a short left hand on the chin. Did not look like a hard enough shot to put Kirkland down, even from a puncher, which Yoshida isn't. I mentioned that, he, that Kirkland was a sitting duck for Ishida's right hand. In fact, the first two knockdowns were both from left hands. But I think he was watching the right hand the whole time. And Nishida managing there's to get right his hand. left hook in against a southpaw three times. And there's the right hand that finished the bout, really. Kirkland could not have looked worse. The, the, the whispering is always about a young prospect particularly when he's put in against a guy who can't punch. Can he take a punch? Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the stunning knockout. The answer is no here tonight for Kirkland. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, the end comes at one minute, 52 seconds of the very first round. The winner by knockout victory from Osaka, Japan, Nobuhiro is and belatedly, the crowd seems to realize that there's inspiration in this moment. A Japanese fighter pulling off what he just pulled off in the wake of the still ongoing disaster in his country. Nobuhiro Ishida makes a name for himself in a minute and 53 seconds. Throwing 49 punches, landing 15, flooring James Kirkland three times, prompting Joe Cortez to stop the fight. Not necessarily the end of Kirkland's freight train career, but a sobering experience to say the very least. Every single punch Nishira, or Nobuhiro Ishira, Ishida landed was a power shot. And that in itself is ironic, given that we were told coming in, his great skill was as a jabber, and his chance in the fight was his jab. Now let's see what he has to say as, and let's actually, Max is with James Kirkland right now. And we're, we're trying to talk to Ishida, the winner also. We're looking to see if we have a translator. This is such a shocking upset. We didn't have one on hand. James, what happened tonight? Well, what I, what I say, uh, for the first time, I want to give thanks to God for the, this opportunity once again. But what's, what I got to say, the, uh, the referee did, uh, uh, to me, what I call a bad call because he knew I was ready to steal the fight. He counted the fight, you know what I'm saying, and stopped the fight. What happened for you to be knocked down? We saw you walk through Joel Julio's punches. He's a big puncher. Ishida's not considered a big puncher. Only six knockouts and over 20 pro fights. And yet he dropped you seriously three times in the first round. What I, what I say about that, I say that it wasn't, it wasn't really, it's like what they call a flash knockdown. It wasn't that I was hurt or anything like that. Flash knockdown, referee ended up making a, a call or whatever. But, uh, you know, I got to accept the decision, you know. Going forward, I know it's hard to answer this question in the moment. You're not training with Ann Wolf at the moment. We never saw anything like this with her, a uh, performance from you. What are your thoughts at this moment about your training situation? Uh, as I can say, man, uh, training camp went as fair as decent. It went well. I really get a lot of sparring for, to get ready for this fight. 
but it went it went as it went you know it it was all right you know i understand that it's uh as they say an upset but as i say i'm not dude didn't hurt me you know i'm still ready to fight and uh it just is what it is you know you know good luck james and now we have a translator here. You were supposed to be cannon fodder for Kirkland. You were supposed to be an easy opponent for Kirkland. Yeah, like, a victim, right? oh, like a victim, right. Why was that not the case tonight? Yeah. Yeah, he said uh, on like BBB us. I talked to before the fight, Rudy, Rudy Hernandez's coach, him, him told me, oh, be, believe me, I believe you, we're gonna fight tonight. But winning a fight is one thing, you're not known as a big puncher. Were you surprised that you were able to hurt him in the first round the way you did? Yeah. Yeah, he know he know already. He's um, he uh, not respect for us. He he should supposed to win, right? So that's why he go right hand kind of straight. We trying to straight all, all day in the right. hand. In other words, you believe that Kirkland wouldn't respect you and therefore run into his yeah, punches. That's right. that's right. Congratulations on a spectacular win, <laughs> Jim. I have to tell you, last night I tracked that young man, young man for an hour all around the MGM Grand Lobby, the giant front lobby here. He took every tourist snapshot you would imagine somebody taking on their first visit to Vegas, including the iconic shot in front of the MGM Grand Lion in the ring. And there was every reason to suspect that that would be the best part of his trip to Vegas. Guess what? It wasn't.